Hi, I'm glad you could join me here for a quick tour of Magic XPA's new upgrade process. Magic has put a lot of thought and effort into making the upgrade process from previous Magic versions to Magic XPA 3.1 as easy as possible. So let's give it a try. I'm using Magic XPA 3.1 to open up a project that was created in version 1.9. The upgrade wizard opens. We'll click Next. In the screen, you can choose to back up your files, and it's a good idea to select this since after the upgrade process, you won't be able to open your project in the previous version. In this screen, you can select the checkboxes to customize various options of the upgrade. So for example, if you select this checkbox, Magic will add the end user functionality component to your project. Let's leave them all checked and click Finish. Once you upgrade your project, there are a number of adjustments that you might need to make to your project. And these are items that Magic can't do automatically for you because the changes depend on the logic of your particular project. And that's where the Upgrade Manager utility comes in. So we'll leave this checkbox selected and click Close. And this will launch the Upgrade Manager utility. So you'll see here that the Upgrade Manager automatically opens. The Upgrade Manager utility will point out for you exactly where and what you need to look for and change in your upgraded project. Now later on, you can reopen this utility from the Tools menu and clicking here Upgrade Manager or by clicking the Upgrade Manager icon from the toolbar. You can see here that the utility has three tabs, To Do, To Check, and To Know. The To Do tab lists the issues that were found and that need to be taken care of. The To Check tab lists issues that might need you to make some adjustments. And the To Know tab are simply the issues that you should be aware of, but there's nothing that you need to do to your project with this information. Now, each item that you stand on has an info section. And this points out for you things you need to change or just what items Magic changed for you in the upgrade process. You can collapse the info section by clicking on this arrow, and then you can expand it again by clicking. The number here next to each item is the number of places in your project that you need to have a look at, and you'll see them listed here in the location section. See here in the location section that you can also collapse each program. Let's look, for example, at the To Do tab. You see here, a line that says the ActiveX control is not supported. And here in the info section, you have information about what to do to replace the ActiveX control. For most items in the location section, you'll see a go to icon that you can click. So I click it here and you'll see that you're taken directly to the relevant location in the studio where you need to make a change. And in this case, you'll see the ActiveX control in Magic XPA's form designer. We need to look at the controls logic. This active X displays a web browser and you can replace it with a .NET web browser control. After you are done taking care of the object, you can go back to the upgrade manager and select the checkbox next to the object. This way you can keep track of which items you handled. So you go through the various tabs and select the checkboxes for each object that you've taken care of until you complete the upgrade. So that's the end of our short Take a Tour video. Thanks and join us again soon for some more magic.